What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Slackers, bringing you guys our next matchup in the upgraded tournament. So we got a new matchup today, obviously. New results to go over and, uh, well, just advancing the tournament. So, uh, yeah, majority of us know what this is about by now, but uh, I always got to go over the little spiel in case anybody new stumbles across these. Every once in a while, somebody new d does, and they always ask, how do you vote? Uh, that's simple. It's a part of the rules. I'll explain all that right about now. All right, so rule number one for this tournament got to be open-minded to the fact, not the fact, sorry, but the possibility that we could have another upgraded playable character, which is what this whole tournament is based around. That's why we call it the upgraded tournament. So assist trophies, spears, Pokemon, Pokemon, stuff like that. Uh, makes sense? Yeah, cool. Uh, next rule. You only get one vote per person, all right? Keep it fair that way. And then how do you vote? Simple. Down in the comments, type the name of the character you are voting for. Simple. Just say, I vote for, and then whatever character you're voting for. Easy. Uh, but do remember, you can vote for both characters. That is totally fine. Just say, I vote both. Simple. That's how you do that. Uh, rest of the rules are double elimination tournament, meaning a character has to lose two times before being officially eliminated. Then once we get to the results to determine the winner and loser of each individual match, if there happens to be a tie in the votes, we'll flip a coin on camera, fairest way to break a tie, and each match matchup voting-wise only lasts for just one week. That's it for the rules. Let's get to the rest of the video. All right, so we got to go over the results real quick from last week before we move on to the matchup for the day. So uh, last week's results was uh, so far, um, uh, I think it was one of the better kind of matchups, um, I guess in terms of views. But the, the votes was a little, little higher than normal, but still around average-ish. So um, uh, the matchup was between Captain Toad, who was taking on Tails, Whoever loses, unfortunately, gets eliminated because we're in the loser bracket, hence the double elimination. So the results are right here. Right here. There we go. I thought it was okay. There we go. Uh, Tails ends up winning this one. 34. Where am I going? Tails wins this 34 votes to 20 votes for Captain Toad. Uh, Captain Toad always has a difficult path in these tournaments. But uh, hey, losing to Tails, who always does phenomenally well in these tournaments, that's, that's not a bad character to lose to if you're going to lose. So, uh, congrats to Tails, who moves on for at least one more match. And like I said, Captain Toad, unfortunately, is uh, eliminated. But um, uh, two characters that are not eliminated, at least not yet, because they're in today's matchup. Uh, we are back. Uh, more Pokemon. That's three straight <laughs> three straight matches in this tournament. We've had uh, Pokemon in the, uh, the matchup. Uh, last Friday, we had Eevee. Last Saturday, we had Gardevoir. Today's matchup, we have Gengar taking on... Shovel Knight. Gengar's coming off a win against Black Knight. So Gengar's facing yet another knight. This time the one with the shovel. See how he does. And Shovel Knight's coming off the pretty big win against Pauline. Very dominant. So uh, we'll see how this one plays out. Uh, what are we starting with? Gengar. Gengar. Now, uh, yeah, we said this last week. Because I believe he had his matchup last week. Uh, he's very popular amongst Pokemon fans. Um, in terms of like the polls that kind of get released. He's always like very high... Highly up there when it comes to overall popularity. So he's got that in case that seems to be a factor for anybody. Even though it, it's hard to say what the factors are going forward. Because uh, the co only few things that we really have um, going for us that we can kind of go off of. Sakurai said it, I believe that was back in the Banjo. I believe it was the Banjo uh, update. Not the, Well, yeah, the update, the reveal trailer where he quoted something along the lines of, It is more important for a character to be fun than it is for them to be recognizable. Now, being recognizable definitely helps, but like you said, the character has to be fun. Gengar could absolutely be fun. Yes, is there a chance we get another Pokemon? Sure. Odds are, would it be Generation 8, Sword and Shield? Probably that's the direction we would lean in. But let's not count on any other generation. So, Gengar, like we said, popularity. He's got that, He's got that in the bag, right? This would be weird. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the reveal trailer for a second? I was reading this tagline. Gengar smiles back. Just uh, like his reveal trailer. I don't know where he would be, but they're, they're fighting it out wherever Gengar's stage might be. And all of a sudden, like just this shadow, and it just smiles at you. And you're like, the heck is that? And all of a sudden, Gen Gengar just pops out. Like, that'd be kind of a pretty cool, uh, you know, Gengar type of reveal. But uh, so Gengar, again, from Pokemon, moveset, nailed down easy. Popularity. I've mentioned that about 20 times. We've got that as well. So let's talk about maybe potential a little bit of moveset and maybe even 
maybe the stage or like some songs that could come with them. So move set, like we said, Pokemon, easy to come with. We don't really have a ghost playable Pokemon in Smash Bros. So there's a brand new typing. So you got a character that, uh, you know, Gengar's got, uh, you know, Nightshade. You know, it'd be a fun thing like Hypnosis with Dream Meter. So Hypnosis could be, uh, obviously you put your opponent to sleep. So it'd kind of be, uh, comparison wise, maybe Mewtwo's down special, right? Where he stuns them for a couple seconds. So that's where if you hit the move correctly, and this could be maybe a tiny, tiny gimmick, right? Gen Gengar could have like two different down specials. One where if he connects Hypnosis, then down special becomes Dream Eater. So he would end up healing himself while damaging the opponent. So, you know, that'd be, that'd just be a fun little, very tiny little gimmick, but Again, not every DLC character does need a gimmick, but it could still be fun. Plus, you got Shadow Punch, Shadow Sneak, so you got some really fast sort of moves. So you could do that for maybe like side special, maybe forward tilt or up tilt, something like that. You know, it's easy, very quick, right to the you know, right to the point. Right, that's what they do. Uh, you got Lick. That could be, I don't know, could that be like a oh, Gen there you go, Gengar with Lick. That could be his rapid, like his jab attack. Right, I don't know if he wants to like. You know, jab, jab, you know, right, left, and then, like, the tongue comes out and it just starts flailing everywhere. I know that it sounds weird, but, come on, Gengar would do that. Gengar would totally do that. But, uh, I don't know, like, overall, I do think Pokemon is on the, definitely on the side more likely to get a playable rep. I don't think it would be Gengar. I don't think it's anything other than a Generation 8 Sword and Shield Pokemon. But, yeah, I, I've told you guys, I'm in the boat. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay if we get another Pokemon rep, but again, I have my preferences to, you know, uh, to the Pokemon that I'd rather see. But if we get another one, okay, I'll live with it. It'll be fine. I'll, I'll deal with it. Hopefully they make them, you know, m super unique to anything that we already don't have on the roster, right? Make them unique to themselves. So Gengar could fill that role, right? The ghost... Very quick, you know, something we don't really have, so could be fun. And plus, uh, music. So, like, uh, what is that, Lavender Town, right? Where uh, the the Pokemon, it's been so long since I played Red and Blue. What's the uh, the Pokemon the Graveyard or whatever, um, whatever that is. What is the music, that very eerie music? I can't think of the name of it right now. Jesse might know? Let me know, Jesse. But uh, the eerie music that plays. I don't think that's in Smash Bros. So, you could use that Pokemon Graveyard type of thing as, like, the actual stage with just a bunch of ghost Pokemon kind of popping up and appearing in the background of the stage, kind of like a spooky type of vibe. And then uh, you got the Lavender Town music as like the main song for the for the uh, the stage. That'd be kind of cool. It really would go well together. And uh, thinking nice little remix to it. I, I, that could fit Smash Bros. That could definitely fit Smash Bros. But you know what else could fit Smash Bros? Well, because he's already in it. Shovel Knight and already in it. He is an assist trophy and a spirit. And he does have his own amiibo. Don't forget about that. Shovel Knight has his own amiibo. So um, that that's the thing about it with Shovel Knight, right? Up until we got those deluxe me costumes of Sans and Cuphead, Shovel Knight had pretty much the highest spot in terms of any indie character representation. It was essentially like playable roster minor league edition. He was an assist trophy. Maybe that's, I don't know if that's something that, like, maybe that's just, we should look at it like Nintendo was pretty high on the character, but maybe they were just kind of like, uh, maybe no indie characters? I Maybe that was their thought. I don't know. Have they ever come out and said no indie characters could be playable? Uh, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure they haven't. So maybe they did think about it. Maybe they really did. And, you know, they talked up Yacht Club games and like, yo, Shovel Knight, we're big fans. We like the platform side. We like what he represents, he's very pop. A lot of people still peg him as like the mascot of the indies, like the king of the indies, right? Now you can make cases for other characters. Shantae could be the queen. Raymu's up there, obviously. You got Quote. You do got uh, Sans as well. I mean, he got a plethora of indie characters. But Shovel Knight, I don't know if that just kind of seemed to be up Nintendo's alley, which is maybe why they kind of lent towards Shovel Knight in the game. Yes, as an assist trophy, but still... That was so huge for Shovel Knight, for Yacht Club games, and just fans of the character, right? Yes, people want him as playable. But he got in Smash Bros, of all things. And just one step down from being playable. While some people might see it as a slap in the face, like, nah, if he's not playable, I don't want him. No, you do want him in Smash Bros. So many more eyes are on your character. So many eyes are on this thing that you support. 
Why would you not be happy for that? And a lot of people were, right? Sure, there was the initial, oh, you could have been playable. And then I started seeing a lot more people like, that's actually pretty cool. He's being represented in Smash Bros. It really is. It really is. So, uh, could he be upgraded? I mean, there's always a chance, right? Uh, I, I don't know nothing about DLC other than Min Min was D the first character in the Fighters Pass. Who's coming after that? I don't know. Five more characters. That's all I know. Uh, but, I, I don't know. Could, could I see a... I think eventually we will have an actual playable indie rep. Not a deluxe me costume, but like the actual thing. I think that will happen. But I do... I really believe that will happen next Smash King. I don't think it's going to happen for DLC. I don't think so. So... That's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong in the end. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and find out, right? Until all the DLC characters are released. But uh, until then, we just got to keep up the speculation. And that's the beautiful thing about Smash Bros. So there's so much speculation that goes into it. Some people take it well, way too far. Way too far. Some Sakurai post a pick of the day and they're like, I'm going to twist this around into, oh, this means Shantae. Oh, I'm going to twist this around into somehow that meant Crash Bandicoot. No, no, no. It's a... Cloud was in the picture. That means Square Enix. Uh, Gino confirmed. Like, relax. The dude takes photos from a game that he pours his heart and soul into. Not everything has got to be twisted into your own character somehow being confirmed. Relax a little bit. Relax a little bit. All right? Just enjoy the character reveals as they come. If you don't like them, don't buy them. You don't have to. If you already bought the Fighters Pass, well, you have to <laughs> live with the character at least. But, uh, yeah, uh, let's just go to the voting uh, again. I'm okay with Pokemon, but Gengar's not quite up there for the ones that I would really, really want to see. So, uh, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight's getting my vote on this one. Uh, I kind of hope he does pretty well in this tournament. Uh, he is in the loser bracket, so one more lot. If he loses to Gengar, he's done. But if Gengar loses, well, he's done as well. Anyway, let me know who you guys got down in the comments. Shovel Knight, Gengar, or both. They're all good options. Uh, sneak peek for tomorrow. Tomorrow's matchup is going to be another assist trophy. Ashley from the Wario series. Taking on Ring Fit Trainer. That's the matchup. Tomorrow's results are from another really good matchup we had uh, last week. From Chun-Li, Street Fighter, taking on Rayman. We'll see how that one plays out. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Second upload today. Kind of happy. I I'm very happy with how it turned out. I don't want to set my expectations too high because I don't get views on videos. So, I don't want to be like, yeah, I'm expecting like a thousand views. Nah, I I'll set myself up for disappointment with that one. But... It's a fun, different... It's not gameplay. It's a fun speculation, kind of... Uh, I'll prove you wrong a little bit. You'll see what it is. It comes out in a few hours after this one goes live. Anyway, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.